Hey everybody, my name is Kelly Patrick. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I talk all things spirituality and what I am learning on my life journey and the lessons that I've learned. And hopefully uh, through my perspective, it gives you a few ahas or inspires you to think or do things in a different way. Um, currently, I am all about A Course in Miracles. Uh, I just recently found a group uh, called a Circle of Atonement. Uh, so if you're someone that wants to get into the course, uh, you try to maybe get into the course at some point and you're like, this makes no sense. Uh, so they do really break it down in a way that you can better understand it and are better able to relate current life circumstances, things that are going on in the world. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. So on Sundays, uh, they have a, a sacred Sunday gathering and in going through it, I really started thinking, what has attracted me to this group and these teachers that really resonate with me? And what I think it is, is it, to get into a group that was centered on prayer, centered on meditation, um, centered on love and kindness, and did it in a way that reminded me kind of like going to church because going to a Sunday service is something that I really, really miss. I wanted something a little bit more broad and expanding and to be all inclusive of every person, everything, every sentient being. being. I found a lot of that familiarity within the teachings that are led um, by Circle of Atonement and the way they teach. In this last Sacred Sunday gathering, I was inspired by uh, the message in a huge, huge, huge way. The executive director, um, Emily Perry, her message on Sunday, uh, she walked us through the civil rights movement and she had recently gone through a six-month program uh, with other Christian leaders. They went down to... Um, Birmingham, Alabama, a lot of the history that took place during the civil rights movement, the atrocities, the, the beatings, the lynchings, the bombings, the killing of all these innocent people that all they were trying to do was fight for their basic human civil liberties, their human rights. But there was a lot of pushback from people that still wanted segregation and the pushback was violence. And the message had a lot to do, um, started off with that, and then got into Dr. Martin Luther King's principles and his 10 commandments for nonviolent protests against um, what he was uh, faced with at the time. So I did write a blog post about it, and uh, I'm doubling down on my spiritual practices because um, the state of our country right now is there is a lot of d upheaval in the United States. There's a lot of upheaval around the world, around the globe. There's a lot of hate being spewed now. And of course, what do we do when we're, we feel like we're being attacked? We want to attack back. But it's more important now, now more than ever, that we start to stand more than ever in love and compassion and kindness. If we start to practice that here, sitting in my meditation, sitting in my prayers, and I start sending that to myself, I grow stronger in peace and love and compassion in myself. And then I start sending it out to people that I know of that are that are suffering. I send it out to certain war torn parts of our country, war torn parts around the globe, energy of love, of peace, of compassion, starting from me and just spreading throughout the world. If I can start doing that, just one person. I think this creates a ripple. And again, because we're in such an upheaval right now, showing these expressions of love and kindness is important. So I'm going to, I need to double down on my spiritual daily practices of meditation, of doing the lessons from A Course in Miracles, that daily practice every day. 
Dr. Yeah, King yeah. had these 10 commandments for nonviolence, and he actually had anyone that was going to be joining him in these nonviolent peaceful protests had to sign a commitment card with these 10 commandments on them. And if someone's like, if he said, if you can't abide by these, then it's okay. And do, if you want to still be a part of this, this protest movement, this civil rights movement, you can be uh, a part of it in another way. You just can't be part of the nonviolent protests if you don't think you can abide by nonviolence. So here are the 10 um, Dr. King's commitments. I found that they were surprisingly, but then again, not really, were similar to the, the teachings of A Course in Miracles. So here they are. Meditate daily on the teaching and life of Jesus. Remember always that the nonviolent movement seeks justice and reconciliation, not victory. Walk and talk in the manner of love, for God is love. Pray daily to be used by God in order that all people might be free. Sacrifice personal wishes in order that all people might be free. Observe with both friend and foe the ordinary rules of courtesy. Seek to perform regular service for others and for the world. Refrain from violence of the fist, tongue, and heart or heart. Strive to be in good spiritual and bodily health. Follow the directions of the movement and of the captain on a demonstration. So from the Sunday message, from these Ten Commandments uh, that Dr. King laid down uh, in his movement, I realize now more than ever that it's extremely important for me to double down on my daily Course in Miracles uh, lessons and practices. I really feel that through these efforts, I can usher in peace unto the world. So whatever faith practice that you hold, or maybe you don't, maybe your practice is love and kindness, and that's amazing too. Whatever your faith, whatever your practices are, I really would invite you to join me. A little bit of extra love and kindness and compassion to yourself, to your fellow human being, to your neighbors, to your friends, to maybe people you don't know, and most importantly, for people that are suffering and who need it the most. May peace be with you, and may you carry that peace out into the world. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me. Amen.